What's up, CompSci community? Today we're working on exercise number four in chapter three of Starting Out with Python. It says, write a program that prompts the user to enter a number within the range of one through 10. The program should display the Roman numeral version of that number. Uh, if the number is outside of the range one through 10, the program should display an error message. The following table shows the Roman numerals for the numbers one through 10, and here they are. And I wrote these comments here. Um, it's only three steps to actually do this how they want it. So the first step is ask the user to enter a whole number of one through 10. And we'll classify this just as number. And it's gonna be one through 10, so it can be of type int. Grab the input and the input is gonna, the prompt is gonna say, um, enter a whole number between one and 10. Okay, so we're gonna say if it's in this range of one through 10, then we're gonna return the uh, Roman numeral form, uh, which we have listed here. So now we can start doing that. So if number is equal to one, then we're gonna print in Roman numerals that is and we can see up here that one is equal to just I so we can just say I okay elif elif number equals two print in Roman, I can't type, Roman numerals, that is I, 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 captain. Okay, so instead of typing all this out, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it, save us a little bit of time, and then we can modify it. That's gonna be three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As this isn't the most exciting thing you've probably ever seen, but sometimes that's just how it is with coding. Um, it definitely gets more excited as you get into more uh, intricate stuff. But definitely a, a lot of what coding is is just copy and pasting. So, But what I find to be really, let's see, what is a, just V-I-I, -I, okay. What I find to be the most exciting part about coding is the end product anyway, so. Okay, so we should be all set. If number is one, it's I, and it goes on. And now we have to print a message um, just, just in case they enter something that's out of the range. So we're just gonna use an else statement. We're gonna say error number not in the range of one through 10. Simple enough, let's save this, make sure it runs. Enter whole number one through 10. One in Roman numerals, that is I. Let's keep it going. Let's try four. That works. Let's try nine. And that's correct also. Now let's try one outside of one through 10. Let's try 11. 
error that number is not in the range of 1 through 10. So this works exactly how we want it to, and we're all done with this exercise. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you liked it, be sure to like it down below and subscribe. And that's all. So I'll see you guys next week. Take care.